Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye here. And today I want to talk about more people from the past who I've studied and inspired my work and how I think in some way in the photography field. Now a while back I did a video, I think it was like five or eight lessons. I think it was eight lessons Ansel Adams taught me and that video has been watched more. So that's why I really kind of came back to my uh, to my thought to maybe bring a series like this around is to share with you guys and girls the, uh, you know, influential older photographers who obviously aren't around anymore uh, who really had an impact on me and because they had an impact on photography of what everything that they did so I just think it's gonna be a cool series and I'm, I'm gonna bring it back and I'm gonna start including people like Diane Arbus uh, and maybe some you know and other and other photographers out there so I'm getting really into more street stuff as well that uh, inspired me so today we're gonna talk about the impact that Joseph Karts and lessons that he taught me and kind of what I gather uh, from from his work that really inspired me to uh, you know evoke the emotion and everything out of it. So let's dive into it. what are some of the lessons that I know from Mr. Kosh from like the 40s, 50s uh, era. I'll throw a photo of Yusuf up here so that way you can kind of see who he is in itself, porch or whatever. But he's really iconic for taking very impactful and I don't know if you can see on the screen right here, but like there's Einstein, there's Queen Elizabeth, and it's the uh, one of the famous Winston Churchill ones where right before he wanted to shoot Churchill, he didn't want to, Yusuf didn't want him to have the cigar. So he like went up, took it, and that's where uh, Winston Churchill, I'll throw that up too. Uh, that's where he gets pissed off and it's a very, very impactful and iconic photo. And that's one of the main things that I learned from someone like that and when I study his work is that he figured out a way to engage with someone in a way that no one else did, whether uh, no one did, whether that be invoke emotion or say something or do something and have awesome direction in doing that. So uh, that's just something that always stuck out to me, that story about Churchill and taking the cigar. It's one of the big things. And it reminded me of a project that someone did where they were taking candy away from babies. And maybe ethically not right, but it was kind of the same thing and they evoked an emotion that you know, you couldn't do by just asking someone. So that direction and everything and a lot of the memoirs he, he had wrote uh, is one of the big things that I got from, uh, you know, from this, from this skilled photographer. So another thing you obviously see is that obviously a lot of his photos are black and white and it, they're all very more dark. They're lower key images uh, and lighting. So I learned that lighting isn't necessarily just for illustration. It really does. It really evokes an emotion or a mood. And it really does. The way he has a little bit of broad lighting, it cuts off a little bit of the face, that he uses shadows and molds the light. It really does evoke an emotion that it just being a portrait. And obviously, it was a very portrait heavy photographer. That's what he did but it was really just how he lit things as well to help with that. Especially with like Einstein, the way he lit it, it was a little bit high, you get a little bit of broad lighting, and it really just accentuated a lot of his facial features and got really something out of it. Even his eyes were a little bit flagged off a little bit, and they were just a little bit, something interesting to look into that wasn't just a way of taking a photo. He really knew how to make a photo and evoke emotion. And going back to the Churchill example and some of the Einstein ones, uh, I, I really learned that you you should be prepared for the unprepared from his work. And that does follow a lot of other f famous photographers out there and, and just really any kind of photojournalism style as well. You should always be prepared because you never know the emotion or what movement or what someone's going to do, whether you do or do not do something. That seems a very broad and weird statement, but it's true. You should be prepared for the unprepared because those are great photography moments. And of course, there's a lot of other things, but I think the other thing that really stuck out to me, because I read some of his autobiography and a lot of the information about, uh, you know, about him a while ago, and is that success doesn't come that fast and it doesn't come easy. And that's obviously true, but I think he had about 15 years to where he's been shooting to where really one of his images first got recognized so that just really stuck out to me it's just like even though you think that oh you know i'm doing this for a couple years and nothing's really sticking out you never know when something's gonna bite but you know obviously you know he had a line of work and it was that one shot that really said holy holy crap this guy yusuf was uh was a big deal and that's obviously why he's one of the biggest influential people of photography past and future as he continues to still inspire people and uh, you know just help them think of some of the ways how they work. Thank you so much for watching this video. As I said, I'm gonna do more of these types of videos that like famous photographers taught me and what I'm really gathering their work so we can kind of break it down a little bit as well. It's gonna be fun. So let me know down below who inspired you. Maybe I'll do some research on them if I haven't heard of them, I probably have. Uh, you know, so write that down below, who's inspired from you. And if you know or you wanna look up Yusuf Karsh, uh, what 
stands out to you? Uh, what stands out to you in his work and how does it relate to whatever you're doing? I think it'd be a very interesting discussion that we can have down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Eric Ross the guy with the eye. There were some lessons very important that really have taught me uh, throughout my career as I was studying some things from Yosef Karsh.